Hey everybody. Well, I am so happy. I uh, was actually saved from wasting my money. I have been all over the place looking for a 4x4, a real 4x4, that I can use on my project here. And uh, nobody has a true 4x4 anywhere. You can find a three and a half by three and a half labeled as a four by four, but I want a four by four for the corner post where the two pieces of handrail come together. I spent over an hour yesterday trying to fashion a four by four out of pieces of scrap wood, and ugh, I couldn't come up with anything that was going to be strong and yet look good. So I went out to my barnwood pile, which a lot of people complain about as some uh, waste. I don't know what, anyway, it doesn't matter what the trolls say. I love this stuff. I found myself a true 4x4. Untreated lumber, obviously. A true 4x4. So I've cut it with the circular saw through on all four sides as much as I could. And now I'm going to finish the cut with my uh, reciprocating saw which has a dead battery all of a sudden. That's a surprise, it was working yesterday. <sighs> Running out of batteries. one cut off of a real 4x4 post that's going to be used for my stairway. The real deal. That is happiness right here. So now I'm going to mark it. I want to measure at 22 inches. So it's going to be 2 inches higher than the handrail. And then I'm going to have a top cap on it. I have no idea what I'm going to use for the top. But I actually went out looking for something yesterday to use for my stairwell, and I couldn't find anything that would work. So I'm very pleased with the fact that I found this, and like I said, I don't know what I'll do for the top. So 22 inches, it's hard to mark with wet wood. Everything is sopping wet out there. So I'll show you what I was doing here. Oh, of course I got that. I can't cut on that mark, so I'm gonna have to. How do I do this? It'll have to be. I'm gonna have to cut it this way. Yeah. Oh well, it's off balance, but whatever. So I cut it as deep as I can with the saw that I have. That's so ripped up. This is awkward to get the straight edge on here. I'm going to try my best to get a straight edge on here with what I've got to deal with. I really want a straight cut. Battery. You guys are probably laughing at me now. I'm down to one battery. The sun has not been shining in forever. And so I'm running out of batteries, running out of power, and I just lost my mark. Working with wet wood is a nightmare. Twenty-two. <laughs> totally lost my mark. Working with scrap wood is awkward as well. So I'm going to push that here as much as I can. Cut that through and rotate it. Had to take out any nails that were in the way beforehand. 
And I'm simply line this saw up with that hole. Well, this is awkward because I'm working with a shorter piece of wood. There's a nail in my way there. It gives you an idea what I'm dealing with here. The nail is only in the way of my um, square. Now I won't be able to put this on today. I'm gonna want to let it dry because it's really wet. But I will have the measurements then to go with to finish my handrail, so I can place it in there for size, size it up. pretty banged up. Yeah, this is going to be hard to uh, get a straight cut there, so I'm going to have to use a straight edge like this and mark a line on this side. Basically, I'm not marking the wood, I'm indenting the wood in this case. see the two lines. Okay. Now, the reciprocating saw, and I'm going to have myself a post. There it is beautiful post for my handrail inside the tiny house on wheels. I'm going to brush it off as well as I can and take it inside and uh, see how it looks. And that's what I wanted. It stands two inches higher. It's not uh, sitting straight because there's a little lip in, on the edge of the wood I have to grind off. And I'm going to let that dry anyway, but it stands two inches higher. and. It's going to sit flush with the inner corner of the handrail and stand up. So I've got a... there we go. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Look at that. That is nice. And then I'll have some decorative piece on top. I am so happy. That barnwood pile is just beautiful. Well, Melanie calls for lunch. Talk to you in a while. Well, Melanie was on the phone for a while, so I left her in peace to have a conversation while I uh, put the trim board, the, uh, the board that's going to line up the uh, uprights. I put that on here. This one on the back way. I cut the upper and lower boards for the handrail. And I cut the piece of plywood to fill the gap here and I put that in place. Now my handrail fits right in to place here. All right, and then the end post goes right here, which we'll put in, that in later when we're done all together. All right, and now I'm going to put the uprights on here. So we'll take an upright. I have to prop it up with a piece of 2x2. Two two. Same as before, the Melanie's watering and feeding the chicks. That's why you might hear them right now, making happy, funny noises. I have the chicks downstairs currently. I want to see if the 
temperature is warm enough there for them. Okay. Now, these are going to be every eight inches. So, every eight inches we have, so eight inches on center, we'll have an upright. right along. So eight, sixteen, and upright. This is in my way. And we're gonna have a stairwell or a handrail today. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the uprights. I won't bore you with all that, and we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, there's one half done. Now, I have to flip it over and do the other side. I miscalculated in spindles, and I cut three too many, but that's perfect because it helped me in my uh, laying out of the form here. Boy, that's getting heavy. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Look at that. So, I have to turn this around and then put the other side on. That one was a different size board anyway. So, I'm happy I had extras. Turn this whole monstrous thing around. Um, rocking chairs in my way. So I have to lay it down to get the other side done. Then I have to turn it all back around again when I'm done. Which is not going to be a problem, but I'll do it. supports underneath so they hold up right and straight and hopefully I'll screw them on straight and neat. Now there's the top piece coming into place. Um, I want that in that corner. Uh, okay, that goes there and down. There we have it. All right, now I'm going to start screwing that together with well, a tape measure as a guide. Okay, just like that. Oops, is that the right way or is that not the right way? I'm happy I double checked that. It didn't look right. I put them in wrong. Yeah, double check that. Okay. Now it's even. This is going to be so beautiful. I'm happy. I'm very pleased with how this is turning out. This is the top of the handrail.
not check my measurement. Got lucky there and got it on the spot. I need to check my measurements. Now I got, I paid a little bit more and I got rounded edged Douglas fur here. So it's uh, perfect for the, the handrail so nobody gets splinters. There's a spindle. That's seeing uprights. Spindle is what I want to say. A spindle. I'm going to finish this up and we'll stand it up and we'll put it in place.